Um, yeah. Are you Welcome. all ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what are we doing today? Um, oh, first of all, my name's Dan. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm a creative technologist, a sound artist, an organizer, and then I've started doing workshops in the past year or so, and I love sharing this craft, which is making music with code. It's something that I started doing four years ago, and before that, I was playing cello for a long time, and I, I was playing with all different kinds of like electronic music tools, like synthesizers, controllers and things. And when I found live coding, it was like off to the races. And it was like, once I started doing that, it was like no other music creation tool could catch my attention for like two years. Um, now I'm like integrating more like acoustic with live coding. So you'll see some of that happening. Um, yeah. Cool. And over here we have- Hello, I'm Viola. <laughs> this is so cringe. I am an interdisciplinary art artist, um, a performer, and a cultural organizer. Um, I teach electronics, like hardware stuff, at an institution I will not name. Um, and I've only been live coding for maybe a little bit over a year. And it's been a very crazy journey, like how much things I've learned through the community and then with people. Like, Dan was someone that I really look up to when I like first started. Um, and I think what's really cool about live coding is that like I think about myself as someone who didn't really have a tech background or like formal musical training, but like just being interested in both and being able to combine them just through watching people do the thing that they love and sharing the things that they love, for me was super rewarding. And I feel like if I can do it, you can do it, right? Like no matter if you come from a programming background or a music background or like none of the above, um, I think there's something that can be taken away from live coding for everybody, and this is exactly why this art form is so compelling to me because it's very accessible. Yeah, and um, <laughs> <laughs> this slideshow is kind of like a "What's the next slide gonna be?" and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, who who considers himself a creative technologist, or like who can see who has used technology for creative means before? <laughs> Cool. Yes? Okay. By the end of the day, all of your hands will be raised. Um, and um, I'm going to not do this game where we see what the slide is next. Because um, instead, I want everyone to go to this document. Um, so if you haven't already, um, I want to get people going as quick as possible. And so if you're not going to life already, it's over here. And we'll be using this document here for the extent of today. Oh, I can actually well leave this here. And I just want to go over a little bit of like um, expectations for what we're going to learn today um, and some of the learning objectives. And we can add learning objectives as we go. And this will be like a fun popcorn style. How does that sound? Yeah. yeah. OK. So as you're connecting to the doc, um, we can go through this. So expectations, it's a two-hour workshop. Um, we'll have the three hour variant at different times, but we did a three hour variant in the past. So today we'll be going a little bit more quickly, um, but we'll still get to the really juicy parts for the workshop. And some of the learning objectives, oh, what to bring um, yourself, <laughs> good, um, a laptop. Does everyone have a laptop here? We with have one Google extra. Chrome. Yeah, with Google Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Download it right now. <laughs> yeah, it can work on other browsers, but we tested it. Chrome is the Chrome. best. Yeah. Um, and then we also have um, headphones. headphones. Does everyone have headphones? I have extras. Yes. I have an extra I have, pair too. I have cheap, um, so one hand. Amazon Anyone else need headphones? We're just like, oh, you have them. Oh, brilliant. It's okay. Cool. Yeah, we have the same. <laughs> I know. Crazy. I think um, there's headphones in my bag also. So. Um, cool, and a friend. Who brought their friend today? Or who's, who, who's a, who, who was recommended to come here from a friend? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, thanks, Viola. Um, some of the learning objectives today, so we'll try to ground what the goals are. Um, we're going to create music using title cycles. Um, strudel. Slash strudel. You'll know what these words mean by the end of this workshop. Um, using a web editor. This was from a different workshop, which was my favorite like learning objective that came from the audience member that we kept in here. Uh, overcome the trauma of making music. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone has this trauma, but um, I surely did before I started live coding. Yeah. Um, and the other one, I don't know why this is to remain, but I like it. But student becomes teacher. So we're also here to learn as we do these workshops. So even though we're standing up here, um, we learn how to improve every time and. Um, at the end of this workshop, 
Um, do you actually, would you like to go over the schedule? Yeah, sure. Um, so we already did the welcoming whatever. We're going to talk a little bit, uh, just a little bit more talking about just like what this is and then like what this practice is. And then we just want you to like dive into like making your first sound. We have this Hello World notebook, notebook document if you scroll down to the class links. And this is kind of what we will go over together. Um, we're going to just introduce you in the very basics of Strudel and you will be able to make a sound immediately. Um, and then we're going to have some like work hours. So once we go through all the documents together, you will have maybe 20 minutes of time to just like dive into all these links that we shared here um, and some like advanced topics um, that you can just like work through yourself. And then we will be answering questions amongst the crowd and also like up here if any question seems to be shared by a lot of people. Um, and then we're gonna take like a little break uh, where we kind of talk more about like our performance setup, share some links um, and videos of like us performing. And um, our community. And our community <laughs> and the friends that we love um, who also do these stuff. Um, and then we're gonna do another kind of heads down working session. And eventually our objective, hopefully learning goal is that we will have maybe half an hour left in the class where we can share, like you guys will share with us what you've made today. Um, so you can either alter something that we provided you or if you are ambitious and want to like, make a song yourself, you're welcome to. And if you scroll down into the doc, we have this share outs um, parts. So if you want to share something with us, feel free to put your name and a link um, in here. And we will tell you how to share links as well. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, from doing this workshop in the past, I want to save as much time for the share outs because yeah. that's the most, from, because we get to see what you all created. And it's really exciting. And yeah. we can also jam on top of what you've made. Yes. Um, and it's really one of the most wonderful parts of this workshop. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so and, bye. But I'm, I'm really excited about the, the heads down time. So, <laughs> Even though we only have two hours, we want to make sure that you all are headphones on in your computer making music with code. And when questions come up, being able to ask us. Um, making music with code, as you'll see soon, is not intuitive to start, but once you learn the little building blocks, it's like off to the races. So we're here to help facilitate getting you past the hump, maybe, of like the difficult friction, and then being off to the races. So Let's just go into the dock now. Yeah, how's that sound? Is everyone? Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Slay. So. Just do this. Just, let's just oh, do we're this. doing this? Yeah, oh, okay. let's just do this. OK, cool. So um, this is a tool we'll be using today. Um, if some of you clicked, the, clicked on this already. So cool. as we said before, Strudel, okay, to now. some of you, um, Strudel is this project that's still in rapid active development um, by people who are participating in the community. Strudel is a JavaScript version of this other programming language called Tidal Cycles which is actually what we both perform in. Um, but Tidal Cycles is Haskell-based. It requires a lot of installation, um, and it's like mo not the most intuitive thing for the beginners to start with. Mm -hmm. So when the Strudel project came through, it was really exciting because it's browser-based and it's in JavaScript. And JavaScript is, I think, the most used language like in the entire world. So I, more people know JavaScript than Haskell, and also it's really easy without any ins installment. You can just go to uh, basically strudel.cc, now they have a new domain outside of title cycles as well. You can just go to strudel.cc and then just like use it. Um, so I think with the implementation of strudel, teaching and sharing live coding becomes so much easier. Um, I don't know how much of you know um, P5.js. Um, P5.js is this like graphic programming language for like JavaScript for like visual art. And in my opinion, I think Strudel is the P5.js for live coding. Yeah. And it's just this really cool open source tool with a lot of people actively working on it. Yeah, so we're at the cutting edge right now, yeah. and you all are here with us. So thanks for being here. Mm. Um, all right, so this is a text editor that's in the browser. So here we go. Cool, so you run the code, and then you can see it bleep bloop. You can change them. You can change them. You can add more. Whoa. You can like, add a hi hat in here. And that's like fun. <laughs> I don't know, clap. We can stop it. So as you're seeing all these things, BD, CP, these are like internal to title cycles. They're like mini no notation 
um, and these are just things built in, so you kind of have to know them. Um, but they're a very easy, they're a very easy way and very intuitive in just like starting with making a drum rhythm. Yeah. H H is hi hat, B D is bass drum, C P is claps. Like they kind of are what they say they are. Yeah, and um, if anyone knows about like retro drum machines, like the like the like the Roland the 808 Rolands. drum machines, a lot of these I don't know if they started with those, but they th these, came from that. Yeah, these are the the letters that are used mm -hmm. on those. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to be using today. Um, and we have these different documents that we prepared that we can all go through. Um, before we do that, though, should we talk about a little bit of how, like, how we got here and why we use these tools? No, or? we just start with it. We're just going. <laughs> just okay. Just go into Great. It. So it is 324 by 326. I want everyone to have made some sounds with Strudel. How does that sound? You don't have to make anything new, but just create with what we have. Yeah, the goal is to get everyone, to, <laughs> all the colors, to go onto this um, link right here. So open this notebook, and then to hit play. Yeah. And then once you have a sound uh, going, we'll, we'll check in, and then we'll make sure everyone has a sound going. A uh, reminder, um, basically, we have all these blocks uncommented right now, because only, this is kind of the bad thing about Strudel, is that only the last block will play. So for example, if you have multiple blocks like uh, uncommented, only the last row will play. But it also highlights you which is playing, so you will be able to know. Yeah. Um, but that's like kind of the one downside of Strudel is you kind of have to comment and uncomment things. Yeah, or it could be the upside. Yeah, or it could be the upside that it's really <laughs> easy and like it will only run whatever is below. Yeah, so is ever, yeah, so you can keep on running through them. So yeah, so feel, feel, feel free to try going through this and then we'll, we have one, one minute before we, we call it stop, so. Um, all right, 327. Has anyone not made sounds yet? Have you all made sounds? Yeah? Slay. Okay, cool. Let's, should we, should we bring it back? Or yeah, let's bring it back. So, um, we have these notebooks here, and while you're in this document, um, you might be wondering, where do these sounds come from? Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> where do these sounds come from? So you can actually go on the bottom, mm. there's all these different links here. So, um, this is very helpful. There's a lot of sounds you can pick from. <laughs> I saw someone <laughs> in the That's back. Oh. Um, and you can click on them to, let's see if it works. Some of them to do, some of them don't. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so there's lots of sounds to pick from. Um, there's also a reference Castillo here. Is great. Um, um, Crow is amazing. Crow is amazing. <laughs> so have fun with these sounds. So you can just replace in here, you can replace these with different sounds as well. Like, so let's do jazz. Let's do jazz, and then to pick different sounds, because jazz has eight in there, to do the second one, you can do comma one. Mm -hmm. So I'm like kind of live updating it, because I've done this a lot, so I can, every time you change it, you just kind of update it. Um, so there's this doc that you can go through, but then also the, learn. the folks who develop Strudel, um, Felix Rose, and also, I don't know who actually created this workshop, but this is like Strudel's version of a workshop, which doesn't have you working inside this editor as much. Um, but it's really great. So if you click in here to workshop, or you just click on learn, that will get you to this page. And this is really great because um, they have these little code blocks on the website. Cool. <laughs> And you can try out the different things. Yeah. So some, then, of the, some of the smaller um, code blocks require you to use hotkeys because they don't really have the play and stop button. Yeah. So remember to use option and return to run and option and stop to stop it. Yeah, so you'll become a pro. And this yeah. works on both Windows and Mac. So cool. Yay! And you can go through and click all of them. Um, and it does a really good job. Yeah, it, like saying what each of these drum hits are. Um, and then what else is there? Yeah, there's a lot. So and if you read German, there's a German version. Oh, there's a German version. <laughs> yeah. Because Strudel is. I'm, I'm trying to work on a Chinese version. Oh, really? For the, for the workshop. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, but it's really great because they also have these graphics that you can see. So if it's helpful for you to visualize the code in this way, um, you can click through this workshop as mm -hmm. well. So um, that's true. We'll share one song to contextualize like what you can do with all of this yeah. because it's fun to make bleeps and bloops. Um, 
but you can also make like whole tracks with it. Yes. Um, so and let's... there are some like ways that you can use to like make structures um, if you are more into like the composition ideas. So th this is one of the first things that we made in Studio together. Um, it's a Frank Ocean remix, and I used some like. That was before Strudel had some new implementation in like song structuring. So we have another um, document in the links about like other ways to structure songs, but this is also another way to structure songs. So you can just yeah. play it and we can listen to and it. And this was made like two months ago. So even yeah. since two months ago, there's like all this new technology. All these things that came out. So, yeah. um, but this should still work. So y'all ready? <laughs> y'all ready for this? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. You can like uncomment things and comment them in also. But nothing's playing right no now. No biggest masks. Yep. There we go. And you can just change all this live. One. Yeah. So for me, just like being able to live code, you just have these like little building blocks that you can do so much with. Yeah, and as you can see on top, um, all these Frank Ocean samples came from GitHub. So if you're interested in like using your own samples, that's also like a document that you can go off of with. They're on Dan's GitHub right now. Yeah. So it's very easy to bring in outside samples to play as well. Yeah. So this is this is what Strudel looks like. Being in, used. Being used. And there's also shows that happen that we mentioned. There's one that was happening later tonight. Mm. This is Viola performing. What was happening, Viola? Do you want, do you want to explain yes. all this? Yes. <laughs> uh, this was the first... Wait. This is actually the wrong one. Yeah, this is the first ever algorithm that happened in LA um, that I organized. And I was playing with... Um, Lady Bams, who's an amazing visualist, and I use native title, but like if you kind of see it, it looks a little bit like Strudel. All these like mini notation um, things, like all the brackets, like all the stacking, it works pretty similar. It's just a kind of a different language because it's Haskell, and uh, yeah. So wh when I perform, usually what I use is I have a code editor running title cycles, and then I also use it to send MIDI to Ableton. And sometimes I have like s small controller things that I play with finger drumming a little bit. So it's really like just another tool that you can use, like an instrument of this digital age that we can wield. Um, and it's really nice because you don't have to bring all these gears to a performance. You just basically have your laptop and maybe like a few controllers. Yeah. That was a really fun night. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, my, my iPhone. Dan helped document some of these still documents. Oh, true. Oh, here's me singing. That's so cringe. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is what um, a live code show can look like. Sometimes yeah. they're called algo rays, algorithmic rays. Algorithmic rays. Um, but yeah, so that's live coding in context. Um, you're also fortunate that after this workshop, you can see it in context also, which is exciting. Um, how are y'all feeling? That was a lot of like theory and stuff being thrown at you. How's everyone? Yeah. Woo! Okay. Okay. We got some booze. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna put on a timer, and I want you all to make some music with Strudel. Um, so it's 3:35, 3:34 right now. So at 55 past, um, hopefully you'll have gone through down one of these rabbit holes. And uh, I don't know if people have run out of things to do in these 20 minutes. So. But if you've run out of things to do, you can raise your hand and we yeah, can help. Yeah, let us know. Um, but also if you have questions, um, we can answer the questions up here or we can come by and answer questions. So this is the quote unquote heads down portion, but if you see us like answering a question up here, you can also like tune into that. So yeah, how's that sound? Cool, all right. People are like already in it, into it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so the question was how can we get a certain rhythm? Mm. Could you sing the rhythm for us that we're trying to get? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do two I'm gonna do two um two lines. So one of them will have hi hats that are happening four hi hats per beat. 
So we'll just start with this one's a kick drum. Yeah. So so basically think about so tidal cycles is cycles based. So think about like everything you put inside the quotation mark a circle, right? It's one cycle. So you're dividing a cycle by whatever you put inside of it. And that was the same length across all the Yes. So in one sketch, if you are not defining the cycle length, then I think it's default to maybe 120 BPM. But it doesn't do BPM. It's like all cycle space. So think of it like like every time it plays something, it cycles through this like circle. So now we're dividing the hi hats into four even parts. Uh -huh. And so you use that, you can kind of like stack your things, and then you can divide something fourth, and something eighth, and something like sixteenth. Yeah. And then you can yeah. use that's the dumbest way is to just kind of just to like use these yeah. to just divide everything evenly, and then figure out when you want them to stop and when you want the sound. Okay. And so. so Oh, what were you going to say? No, no. And then you can talk about the brackets, Oh, yeah. So, a rest looks like this. We'll do, um, we'll do a clap and then a snare. Mm. So you can see that the kick drum is on the one now. It's with the clap. And now it's happening here. Yeah. So this is kind of like, it's splitting it into yeah. two, and then the bottom one's on four. Does that make sense? And the spaces didn't do anything. The spaces no, didn't do anything. That just was just for you to yeah. visualize. Yeah. So if I put three in here, what's, what do you think is going to happen? Three, four, clave. Yeah. So you can do some like fun like three into four things. Yeah. The, the clave. And then, so if I if I go back to having four of these. We can use these brackets to subdivide. So we can do this first. We can do jazz times, or we can do jazz jazz. <laughs> we can do jazz. So, so do you see what's happening there? Yeah. So it's dividing the section into even smaller sections. Yeah. So it's fitting all of this within here. Yeah. So that's what the square brackets does. It, it does subdivide subdivision. Yeah. So if you want, so so the beat that you were singing was done, da done done. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd want to have it it's syncopated, so it's on the offbeat. Yeah. Exactly. So then, how would you put it on the offbeat? Do you know? If you need a rest before that. Yeah. Like yeah. Which beat is it? One, two, three. Dun dun. dun. It's like two it's two like, end. It's like the, uh, yeah, it's like the rest. It's two end. It's kind of like a pentatonic. Yeah. 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 So it'd be here, yeah. I think. It's let's see. Right. All right. Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, yep. and then we can do jazz right here. But that's happening every time. Right. So let's so, use these brackets. Yeah. So the first time it yeah. ignores it. So what the angle... Yeah. Like oh, yeah, totally. So yeah. you can also do it here. Oh, I, think, I see, yeah. 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 Nice, that's we got good. it. Yay. Yeah. We derived it. Yay. <laughs> Collaboration. Yeah, so as you can see, there are two types of square brackets. The square bracket is very easy to understand. It divides, it does subdivision. And the angle brackets, think of it as like a selection. So it will cycle through each cycle. Um, so if you have two things in the angle brackets, then the first round is going to do the first one. The second round is going to do the second one. And if you have like yet another one, then the third round is going to do like the third thing. And then so on and so forth. Yeah. So think about angle brackets as selection and uh, square brackets as division. Yeah, and there's also a way to write this out um, in a better all in way. one line. <laughs> so we could try that. So let's do. But does that make sense what we've done so far, or is this confusing? No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, and you can put them into stacks, kind of like what we do. That's the same thing. So not yet, not yet. Yeah, so not yet. But then we'll do this. So jazz. Um, and then we'll do jazz. <laughs> That's so funny that we just chosen jazz. Dun. A lot of jazz. jazz. A lot of jazz. Dun. <laughs> dun, dun. I think this should be it. But it's twice as fast. So we want to do slow too. Mm -hmm. And then bring it into context. So what we did here. It's not, it's not quite. You're, it's this is, oh. It's not quite. Okay, wait, let's play them at the same time. Because that's like oh, in crap. seven. That's in seven. Oh, I One, I, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, whoops. No. Oh, I know, we need this. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Hey! hey. <laughs> um. Some nice. math. 
Cool. Math for the nerds. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So it's really nice. Oh. You generally like prefer the second notation. Fine. Um, so there's even another way to do this. <laughs> so there's can so do many ways to jazz do it. struct. <laughs> and what struct does is it actually lets us use ones and zeros instead. So you don't have to write jazz a bunch of times. So you can go one, dun, dun, rest, one, dun, dun, one, one. I think I usually prefer struct because yeah. you can basically write a rhythm and then you can change the sound as you go. Yeah. So it's like a, a more robust way of like structuring things. So, so you'd probably do like that but, and, and the slow vary. And there are also ways uh, to like write repetition. You can do like, um, you can do the, the uh, exclamation mark. Yeah, I'll, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, I use that. What, what was your question again? Oh, I feel like you end up preferring that last syntax where you use mm -hmm. slow versus oh, I see. Uh, like rotating through patterns. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to look at, um, and there's other way there's even more ways to do it, which is, yeah. but you, you can also then change this to be a jazz the first time, and then the second time it'll be like a clap. Oh, cool. But you can also do clap into snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> so the patterning language you can throw anywhere, and I think once that clicks for me, yeah. so anyways. Just like keep, keep digging around a little deeper. Yeah. Or you can make it extremely simple, but then... Uh, so anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, any other questions? We have five more minutes of heads down time. <laughs> and then we'll continue questions. Um, you create, like, different start times? Like, you want something to start first, and then... Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that's, um, that's... My way of doing it is through a function called mask. So mask is kind of like structs, but I use it in like a more, so mask kind of like you can use one and zero. It's like a binary thing. You either have something or you don't have something. So by employing a mask, basically I can be like, I first don't want it, so it's zero, and then I want it and it's one. And I can like, basically for example, divide it by 16. So I'll be like, okay, the first like 16 bar, I don't want it, and then it will show up. So if you go to our Frank Ocean sketch, which yeah. is in the we can the also play it right here. Yeah, we can so, also just play it right here. So let's say that I want these, the second line to come in only the second time. So I can also use struct. We'll say struct will be zero. So it doesn't play because okay. we're saying zero. Or you can say struct is one. But then struct, it's only, it's not playing the right rhythm. So instead of struct, you can actually use mask here. And then mask zero. And then how would you make it play, so how would you make it play the, the second time and not the first time? Does anyone know, given what we've learned so far? Ankle brackets. Ankle brackets, yeah. So let's, let's just try this. Yep. But then angle brackets are now, how do we make them so they're in, so they're in sync together? Or you can divide, or you can say, I don't want carrot brackets to do every time. I want it to, to I want it to spend twice as long mm. in each one. Yeah. So that's one way to organize yeah. your code a little bit. And it's like if you divide it by like eight or sixteen, that's kind of how I usually organize, like having bass first and then like bringing the drum up to like eight bars, for example. You can just like divide it however long you want, um, and you can also basically. Um, I can like combine combine the carrot brackets. I don't know why you call it carrot brackets. That's really cute. But it's like carrot. I call them, I call them angle brackets. I don't know angle what they're actually called. Okay. But yeah, I, the carrot brackets with the square brackets, so you can like also create patterns with the mask as well. Yeah. You, know, like, so you can also type if you like. Yeah. Any other? Did that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So any other question? It's fine. Did you catch up? Did you kind of figure why out? Why is what? Yeah, so struct will, um, struct will, um, struct, struct will rotate through those different times. It'll control the tempo of what's on this side. So, so struct will say this tempo is now what these will play versus mask. Mask won't do that. Mask will just say if it's on or off. It's, okay. yeah. Also, like, I think syntax-wise, it just makes sense. Like, mask is just like you're either masking it or you're like revealing it. Yeah. You're not doing anything to the pattern itself. You're just choosing if you play them or not. Oh, you yeah. can also use like gain, for example, like turn it on yeah. and off. Like, that's also valid. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, so let's bring it back, everyone. How was your inflow time for folks? Do you like Streetle so far? 
Do we love Spittle it's, if we don't, like, leave? <laughs> yeah. I also realized we didn't get, I mean, because it's a shorter workshop mm -hmm. of a lot of people, we didn't have time to introduce names. So maybe if, if when, we, when we ask questions, we can introduce, just, like, say our names so we start to learn each other's names by the end. Um, but yeah, any just, like, remarks on how, how was this for, for you all? How was it for you, Max? Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you explore? Um, I just used the like sample notebook, and then I just started combining like four of the different stacks that you had there, and just sort of played with it until it sounded good. Maybe cool. the question <clears throat> that I have building off of that is like beyond just playing with it until it sounds good for someone with zero musical experience. <laughs> like, how do you sort of explore creating a song, or like whatever you would call this stack that you sort of love? Yeah, that's that a is good so valid though. Ex um, exploring until it sounds good, I think, is a great way to approach things, first of all. Yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, and that's kind of how I do a lot of things as well. Um, especially if you're not like using like music theory or whatever. It's just kind of just like making these things. And that's what's really cool about live coding, is that you don't really have to abide to the Western musical standard of like, you know, a an octave is like 12 like equal temperaments. Like, you don't have to really, really abide to that. I think using that does help. Because Strudel does, especially if you see all these notes, for example, it does help like knowing that, right? Like what is a C note, what is a G note, like what is a G chord, like what is a G major chord. But at the same time, you can also just kind of explore like using different frequencies or using different like MIDI notes. There are many ways that you can visualize that and there are so many sound samples as well that are not really musical, right? Like the crow or like the Castillo, like what is that note? Like it doesn't really matter. It's kind of just like... But I do think, though, for strudel and or title cycles, because it's a patterning language, it is very rhythm-based. I think understanding like fundamental, like how you like how you would divide rhythm, is really important. But I think like sound-wise, there are a lot of space to explore. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and I can show you some different. I, I like using different functions mm. and like little building blocks to make me melodic patterns. <clears throat> But I'm also biased because I've like been playing cello since I was like four years old, so it's like hard for me to like see not see this with new eyes as someone without music theory. Um, so it's helpful to have a little bit of both. Yes. But yeah, we'll get uh, two more two more volunteers, or or maybe we'll volunteer you. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Allison. Um, I come from like four programming backgrounds, so I love the documentation. So shout out to the contributors who came. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been fun so far. Cool. What's one thing that you played with? Oh, dope. Yeah. It's a classic. <laughs> I don't know what it is about like having like an animal make its way into this like very inorganic silicon computer, but like, yeah. Oh, thanks, Allison. Before we go into the second heads down portion, we had a good question come up, which is like, how do you actually make this into a song? And we've shown you like a finished quote unquote finished song, like Frank Ocean, but it's like, this is a lot of code, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've showed you some like arbitrary examples of like the uh, minutia of the title cycle, strudel language. Um, so I'm thinking um, maybe we can just build a very simple song. Yeah. Um, and we can show how we do that. And I'll time box it to five minutes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we'll actually have to live code now. Yeah, yeah. we'll live code. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's start with um, sound, bass drum, bass drum. Or let's just do one bass drum. Wow, so nice. And then let's set the set CPS, which is like the, the BPM. We'll set it to 100, so it's a little bit slower. We'll do a low pass filter, which just makes it a little bit darker. There we go. It's like a little bit like it's like we close the door on it. And then now let's do some notes. Um, so we'll say zero, and we'll set the scale to be C minor, and we'll say note. Let's see if this works. No. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Uh, Great. We have so many programmers. Um, so this is just playing a note now. We can go C4. And we can do multiple notes. Oh, yeah. So how would you make it like a square? Oh, yeah. So we can do dot sound square. Okay. That's really bright. So we can do low pass filter here. Or we can also say cut off. And we'll do like 1500 uh, hertz. And if we put four and five in here, so we're already like kind of getting a song. By using a scale is a very easy way to like not worry about tonality and just like pick a scale and then pick the notes from it. Yeah. And as you can see, it's C4 minor in a sense that it's picking the octave. 
So this is the fourth octave. So if you can also go higher or lower with that. Yeah, and right now, if I want to keep on adding notes, but it ends up being a lot. So we can use these little squiggly brackets, that modulos, and, and oh. the modulo. Oh, this is a damn method. And this puts it, so it plays four at a time, but it'll just play through these numbers. So it plays, sorry, it plays... Uh, it's kind of just like put, dividing a cycle into four things, but then it just picks from this, um, so like think of it as an array, just like go through each one, but then they're putting them into the four boxes. Is that like slow four? Kind of, it's... Not quite, because yeah. if you do slow four, it's still dividing all of these evenly, so it might not be like the four by four rhythm that you're looking for, because now we have maybe like 23 things yeah, we, in one. Yeah. So this is just like, think about you have like a bag of notes, just like jumbled inside, and you have this pizza that's divided by four, and you're just like putting them here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So that's kind of what this does. Yeah, so this is a technique I like where I think the next Tidal Cycles version will actually be like beat mode, which will be mm -hmm. kind of like, you won't have to use, anyway, so it'll be more around the structure of this scrambled box. Of, yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's just copy this, and then we're gonna say C3. But then let's take one of them away. And so now you can see that because we remove one of them, they're out of phase a little bit. And then for both of these now, let's say dot legato 0 0.5. Short, which makes it shorter. Um, now let's add some other drums. I'll keep the drums kind of together. Oops, need the comma. And then we can do dot gain to make it a little bit quieter. Maybe 0 0.8. Is it volume? I don't even know. It can also be amp. Oh, amp. Yeah, it is oh, that, oh, does it work? Okay. Yeah, gain does work. Now we can do another one here. Snare drum. And then we can do here. We'll do the second time it'll play two bass drums. Oops. Ooh. It, it just died. <laughs> um... Cool, and then now let's take even another one. Let's go one octave down, but then let's just do one note. Let's make this full length. And then let's just go up a scale. We can delete this also. We can also just use these carrot brackets at this point. And then we can comment this one out. So now if we want to like hear some sections, we can just hear some sections. We can use struct to like give it a little bit, um... Euclidean. Euclidean. Yeah. <laughs> so we can do like this. Or we can use these things called Euclidean rhythms, which is this format here, which is... So it kind of, it picks a, a number and puts them in. But if you do something like three, it'll subdivide it in like a funky way, which you'll hear. You ready? The Frank Ocean thing, like the whole thing was Euclidean rhythm. You can do three eighths, five eighths, and you can offset it by adding, make, like if you add like a two after the eighth. Oh yeah. So you can offset it. It's kind of hard to hear it. Let's go to 2000. We can do that in here too. Yep. Yeah, so we can do that. Oh, right here. Oh, that's time. Okay, that's our song. All right, let's perform the song. And then we'll get back to your question. Wait, what's the forgetting rid of the again? Oh, com uh, it's command uh, forward command slash. slash. Yeah, or co control forward slash if you want to. Yeah. And yeah. then you can do, and then you can do option uh, return to update, yeah. and do option dot to stop. Yeah. But yeah, but that's a song while answering questions. So yay! Thank you for all the questions. What was the question again? What was the question? Uh, can you just, like, the, the angle brackets there? Right on this one. Oh yeah, let's see. That's pretty cool too. Yeah. So like, why is that happening? Maybe. Yeah. Um, let's. So what happens is. Um, remember the pizza. <laughs> remember the pizza. So this is also a title cycle. You can like find all these like random happenings. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So it'll, so what's happening is it's taking where this rhythm would fall, and then it knows that struct three, eight, and then five, eight 
happens at certain times. So it just finds whatever note is happening there and then it applies to that one. So basically, if you don't use the angle bracket, <laughs> you, you, are, some, you, some are divide, you are dividing. Think about, I, I always think about the pizza. I don't know, I don't know about you. I, I just think about one cycle as a pizza. So with this, you are dividing the pizza into like seven even parts or whatever. So it's like playing through the cycle. And the struct is also structing through the cycle. So like wh whenever whenever one note plays and the struct is like happening, then it will play that note. Versus if you use the carrot bracket, now you're just alternating these each notes in a different cycle. So the first cycle will only be this one note, and then it's structing the note itself. So you're hearing the same note over and over. That's why it goes ba 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 because it's different cycle. It's like one note for each cycle. Yeah, Does that make sense? And now without the square bracket, you're playing all these notes in one cycle, and it only picks. Oh my god, I need a white, I need to draw it. Yeah, so this is just like a fun, so this is one of these like algorithmic building blocks that allows you to create with very little code, um, create these like emergent melodies, I guess. Um, but Euclidean Rhythms, it was developed at uh, CERN, I think. Because they, oh they wanted to figure out how to make it so the particles would be um, sent at the, at the most, like if you have four particles that are being sent within this time window, how can you send them at the most separated time spans? So then they, they actually made an algorithm that, that figured out how to pack particles or pack events into a span, separating the events as much as possible. So what you get is an alg you algorithmically get like rhythms that are separated. <laughs> and after they did this, they found that this actually applied to a lot of popular rhythms and in, in music in many different cultures. And it was just, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So that's what are the two numbers do though? Yeah. So the two numbers are the first number is. Um, yeah. It's, it's basically just, the first number is how many notes you're playing, and the second is kind of like what how many divisions there are. Yeah, we can but do eight. It's like where they fall is the is the algorithm itself. Yeah. So when you do a division of oh, so if you do seven, it's maximally spacing out seven notes across eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So four looks like this, right? Because it's just four. But then three, it's like how does it do that? Yeah, so it does one, so it's the same as this. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's the same. Yeah. Okay, and it, and it always repeats the same thing over and over versus like, it yeah. doesn't care that that late one is close to the next one. Uh, that this one? Back around. Like, oh. It doesn't matter, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, because it's, it's the, we're in the title cycles land where everything works as a cycle. So, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't know if that hits. Do you guys see the pizza? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a cycle. Oh my gosh, this is yeah. a cycle, and this is a cycle divided by like eight parts. So like, whenever, huh? Can we get that bit? Here we have we have this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So this is, yeah, this is a title cycle. This is a title cycle. Yeah. So, yeah. So normally we do a three-hour workshop, but we're here for two hours. Mm -hmm. um, so we're so, going. So this is what you get now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a three hour workshop, this is a two hour <laughs> workshop, so, <laughs> um, yeah, um, but yeah, how is, so we're going a little bit of speed demon mode, um, <laughs> but was that helpful, seeing like how a song can be yeah. made? It's cool. just like and one of the processes of making that, making a song. And I'll also share this. So um, you hit the share button and then um, this will be insert row below um, song from the class. So you can use this. And the reason I'm putting it here, yay, is because um, <laughs> we have an hour left. No, we have 45 minutes left. Um, so I want, so I want, all of you to create a song. It can be the simplest, simplest song, but the goal for the end of the day is to create just some sort of song. And mm -hmm. I want to show you another magical button. Look at they even put sparkles on it. Has anyone hit this button yet? No? Okay, let's hit the sparkly button and hit play. Is it play? Oh. So there's like a whole bunch of songs in here. So when you're learning a new language, it's really helpful to just see lots of things. My favorite is Dino Ray. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. These so, are mostly all made by Felix Roots yeah. who made this, uh, made Strudel. Yeah, and it's not enough. They're to just like learn basic things. Yeah, because when he adds new features, oh, we're actually on the old version. Let's add. Let's go to the new version. Dot cc. Haha. -ha. Um, shuffle. Oh, this is oh insane. My gosh. This one is crazy. So like, I don't expect. I I don't. I do not make music this way. But like, you can, <laughs> right? You can if you want to. It's like we're shifting from sheet music to site to cycles now, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, let's keep on going. So there's different ways to do, there's like echo, which is a, a form of delay, I think. Yeah, velocity, using a purling noise. There's so many things you can put in it. Maybe. Yeah. You're not expected to do this, that, do this much, but we would encourage you to like shuffle it. And like if you hear a sound you like, you can copy and paste that into your track and see what it does. And that's usually yeah. the best way of learning anyways. Yeah, so here we're saying please um, like there's a please plagiarize. Yeah, there's a great open source mentality to live coding. So like, if you do use it, just remember to like keep the by who originally did it. You can say like remix, remix by Dan, but your name here, like original by. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So have fun clicking through these. The end will be. Oh my gosh. So let's say like Dan remix. Dan remix, and then I'll change it. So we'll make this quieter. And now it's done. All right, I'm gonna share with everyone. So you're gonna hit the share button, and then it's here. When you're done, and then in here, we'll have the share out. Share out. Oh, oh, share outs. Ah, okay, this is our new one here. So, we just, and then you paste your you paste your track here. So, um, yeah. And uh, one thing to note is that this isn't like a live link. So if you make changes in here, not in here, not in here, not in here. If you make changes here, you, you have to hit. You want to hit share again and then put it there. So, yeah. So we have 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Do it. To to find something that sparks joy, or you can start from scratch if you're a pro. And then we're gonna list our different songs, and then we'll get to listen to songs, and we'll remix them, and we'll see like some interesting moments. So. Um, okay, do it now. Go, 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 go. 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh. Yeah. So far, it mm -hmm. seems like everything we do is a single cycle. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that there must be to like mm -hmm. go to the next cycle as like a different thing? Yeah. So. In performances, like it looks like uncommenting code and, uh, and adding other code, that's like the the way to like human automate that. But if you want to have like a song that's like a three minute song that has transitions, you can use like different functions like oh, arrange. Oh, I want to sh like I want to share. If you are interested in that, I can share that remix that yeah. I did of the um, little data remix. Oh, true. Yeah. So yeah, we're heads down time, but we'll still I, answer I, I, questions. I will share something to you. All right. So this is what it looks like. I won't play it just yet. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. So see, this is kind of oh how gosh. you advocate as well. So this yeah. is a song that you released somewhere, or no? This is no. Just this, a... this is a song on the DJ Dave EP that Lil Data remix that um. he open sourced all this code. So I remix on his remix. Oh. Uh, cool. But like, if you just scroll to the to the very bottom. Yeah. Don't scroll. Um. Yeah. So basically, what eventually happened is this arrange um function. So I put everything into variables. So we you have this like post verse variable. Um, you have this like verse variable, they're all stacks. Um, and you have this drop of, uh, stack, and you have this pre drop stack, and you have this build stack. So I basically put all of them into variables, named all of them, and I eventually used an arrange function to arrange like different um, basically bars that I'm playing them. So this is kind of like you can make a whole two minute track just with it. Yeah. And we can play a little bit of that. <clears throat> but you, you can also see which part lights up so you will know. There's also a scope. Yeah, a scope. So now, now we're at the pre-draw part, but it's not lighting up. Oh, because it's scope. Wait, why is why is it not lighting? Oh, it's oh, here. We're here. Up. We're here. Yeah, we're here. And then that, now we're at the verse. I think. No, we're still here. We're still here. <laughs> And so, like so, um, so I'm, uh, there are lots of masking that I use here to like modulate everything. And then now we're at the verse. So this is like over, very overly complex. You're not expected to do anything like this. It, this is also mostly little data. I would say this is like 60% little data, 40% viola. Oh, but, there's a crow. Yeah, I know, I added the crow. <laughs> That's oh me. Gosh. Uh, wait, <laughs> let's play the crow. Uh. 
so yeah, a range will be kind of like how I do like a structured song. I'd be curious to know more about your process. To like, how you do yeah. The entire thing. Like, did you make, make each subsection separately, or are you working? On yeah. That? So for this one, Low Data already had like a structure going on. So it was very easy to kind of build up upon that. But yeah, I will build section by section. Um, so like, usually for me, it's like, what is the most exciting part of? I mean, I also made a track in the DJ Dave EP. It's a different track. Um, I also mostly use Strudel. Oh yeah, why didn't I show that? But that one wasn't with Arrange. Um, I used that with Mask completely, and I actually learned Arrange through Low Data. Um, so I want to show that. But yeah, I, I think for me, usually it's kind of like figuring out what's the most exciting part of the song, and then like working backwards. Um, I'm pretty sure I had like my, I had like a bridge part that I made first um, because I just like I just wanted to make something really fun. And then I'm like, okay, what is like kind of like the verse of the song? Mm -hmm. And then I worked it back to like have like a, a beginning and an ending. But that's also just like, that's like a composition land. It's like, how do you compose a song? Everyone does different things. And I'm not a producer, so I feel like the way I approach this is also very much inspired by live coding practices. So um, it's kind of however I live code uh, build a show, it's also kind of how I make a track as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not here, but there. Yes. Ah. Super gliders usually, yes. Keyboards or whatever. Alright, alright, alright. Dan I'm has finishing. made the track. I'm finishing. I'm no, it stopped now. Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Alright, I'm adding it. I'm hitting this share button. It's and it's once it's in the clipboard, it's there. And I'm okay, going back. Okay. And now this is just yeah. Dan's track here. So yeah. Uh, and and if you're like finishing the last thing, also. But yeah, we have exactly 30 minutes. 29 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Left of the workshop. Um, and so, this is one of my favorite sections as we see everyone's um, different sketches come in. Right. All right. Okay. Um, Jade's old school. Let's go. Dumb stuff. I'm so All right, excited. We're gonna save you for the end. Oh, okay. Um, Jade Jade develops strudel, so I feel like this isn't her first time working. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll come back. I learned so much from Jade. Right. Anyone want to volunteer themselves to go first? I mean, what mine was very simple story. <laughs> All right. Okay, crow wave. Cow, cow rave. A I cow rave. The, Damn it. I took the random one that was called cave rave and added cowbell. Oh, nice. Dope. Okay, dope. Let's right. let's hear it. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Cowbell. 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 Let's hear it. Hey. This is you. That's so much gain. <laughs> that is a lot of gain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of the sample there the samples are are normal aren't all normalized. Dope. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And then you can add the piano roll if you'd like. And you can add change color to that. Oh change the uh, cyan. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, you made that. That's crazy. Uh, dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, um, we'll add um, a little tick for done. All right, uh, who's next? Uh, let's do Paul. Are you ready, Paul? Where's yeah, Paul? Paul. Sure. Oh, you're right here. Okay. All right, anything you want to say before we play? Um, no, go for it. All right. All right, <laughs> let's go. Yo, oh, that sounds so cool. Yeah. And you use MIDI notes? Oh, you can also do this if you want to make it look yeah. a little prettier. You can use this little back tick, and then you can separate uh, like this. I do like the gong as well. There we go. Yeah, if you want to organize your code in a way that's like a little bit easier to read, you can do it that way. Let's see what else is happening. That's really cool. The rhythm is really cool. Let, let's add some kicks to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the Let, classic. Let's add, add, add a four on the floor. All right, so it gets quiet for a second. And then we come in strong, are you ready? Ah! ah! 
All right, now we're ready. Sweet. Oh, and I'll save the remixes if I, if we remix it. <laughs> um, the remix. Um, cool. No, that's not Kauru. Oh, <laughs> Paul. Thank you. There you go. Um, we'll put an X if we didn't remix it. Um, okay, Jane. Jane has two things. Where's so, Jane? Hi. Oh, you're Jane. So this oh. one is uh, taking a root feed from one of Jane's uh, sound libraries, and it's the Amen Breaks. Oh, it's the Amen Breaks. Cool. Yeah, it's yes, oh, we love Amen Breaks. Breaks. Oh. It's the Amen Breaks. Oh. All right. Uh, slicing it up. J break. J break. J break. Um, and then I tried like using the begin to like mm. change root samples beginning yeah. as like an experiment, but it's it's all right. Uh, ah, and you put them in variables. I love oh, that. Nice. Oh, so we can bring the bass yes. in as we go. Yeah, bass. I'm not. I forget what that is. <laughs> there's we'll no, see. There's a little. All right. Bass. This okay. is Jane. Let's hear it. Up. Uh, set CPS to yeah. uh, two. <laughs> two. Yeah, yeah. Math rock. Whoa. <laughs> so that's granular synthesis where you yeah. just play it fast enough. Um, <laughs> So, but let's do 100. We'll do warning loud. All right. Um, dope. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Did that sound how you expected it to when you shared it? Uh, I don't you can know. play around with the slice, too. I don't think so. No? Oh, OK. I don't know. Well, I had a couple different projects I just like threw it out on the sheet. I kind of want to play with the slice. The slice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, I kind of just want to. Oh, oh, wait, okay. set the wait. You could probably slice Comment it back. This is just kind of like an end with you. Okay. What if we, ju we, we just like. What if we just make it really fast this way? Ah. And what is slice doing? What's the second variable in slice? That's like where it is in so the slice. So basically, you're slicing this break into eight parts. Yeah. And you're picking whatever it is. So yeah. like you can just like do like random numbers. Ah, uh, okay. That begin right here. Just comment that out. What is it? Oh, begin? Yeah, comment that out. Oh, you are like picking different beginnings as well? Yeah. Not the 35. I'm, I'm so slow when I type. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. What do you want to do? There you go. Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. And then we can bring in the kick drums. Uh, stack, sound. We have to make the gain really loud though. And then we can also, how do we make it go slower? Slice four or not? No, no, you, you will. Oh, I see what's happening. You, you can do whatever that was, yeah, before. Yeah. But you bring it back to eight. Oh, eight, got it. Then we can do, so we can do eight and then six. Bro, let's see what six sounds like. Whoa. Whoa. Let's also do dot legato uh, 0.5. Yeah. Yeah, now you can hear like That's a little better. bit more. So clip and legato. Clip clips the sample at the end of the transient. Legato actually just says let's just play half of the half of the length of the You of can the also pizza. play double and it will be very Yeah, low. legato cuts it, so rather than playing the, the whole quarter, it just plays it for an eighth of the pizza slice. Yeah, no, it's, such a, no. it's such a funny it's, one. Yeah, it's yeah. not what very intuitive. Okay, this is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay! All right, everyone give it up. <laughs> All right, we can zoom in for the video. Dot, 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 dot. All right, cool. All right, now I'll share this remix. Thank you for pushing it a little farther, Viola. Yeah. <laughs> slice, slice, I don't I'm play like, we Yeah, we must play the slice. This is why we have uh, peer review, peer, peer review. <laughs> peer, peer review. All right, Jay-Z, who's Jay-Z? Oh, Jay-Z. Oh, Jay-Z. So, all right. Yeah, because there's Jane and there's Jame. Oh, wait, that's so funny. Okay, anything you want to say about your, your mix? Uh, I just took a note from the Felix, mm -hmm. um, and then I just basically, um, the rest of it, I'm just repeatedly using the yeah. 
fashion that I, I Let's hear it. Yay. My roommate, let's go. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Oh yeah. There's that like really cool sound. It's a, yeah, the the. It's like waka waka wa. Yeah, what is? It? I don't know. I think it's these. Wait. It's, it's, jazz. it's jazz. It's yeah. jazz. Wait, this, can we the un jazz? Can we unmask it? Yeah. Wait, what are you saying, Jace? Oh, oh, were you saying something? Or did you want to add something? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, did, did you, you want to add something? Did you want to say something? No, no, I was, I was, no, I was Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Yeah, the jazz thing is so cool. So what Anne is doing is just going through all the different jazz samples. So in here, sorry, I should make this quieter. In here, jazz has eight samples. So we're like going through them. So you can also say so, N. I don't know how the, the eight is still playing. It should be like huh? seven. There should only be zero. Oh, so if, if you, it wraps around. So oh, it modulos. So, it became, so you can put like 16, put like 55 in there. And it's also fine. Okay. Um, so something else we can do is you can do IRAND. Mm. IRAND, and then this will, let's see what this does. It does nothing. Uh, why doesn't it work? Uh, 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 if you put it here, N, I rand eight. I never use I rand. Ah, okay, that works. And then we can say dot. It's fast. Yeah, dot fast eight. Okay, yeah. Cool. So what this is doing now is it's taking different samples from that folder. Yeah, so it's kind of fun. Yay! Cool. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Sure. Remix. Cool. All right, the remix is here. All right. Next. Um, who next? Uh, uh, this one. Hanyan. Hanyan. Okay. Where are you? Yay! Okay. Anything you want to share about your piece? Well, I mean, I just so whatever from that like stuff put together. Cool. Oh, this looks like it's from yeah. the workshop or the workshop in the site, maybe. The left hand is very interesting. I never. Oh yeah. The left hand dot voicing thing. Let's hear. And I don't even know can... if there's any other dicks. Is the, is the left hand the only thing that's uh, available? I real. But like none of like the advanced music features are documented very well. <laughs> so like, you can like do incredible like jazz like progressions really easily. I just don't know how to do it because the guy who implemented it has to do it very well. That's so funny. <laughs> So yeah, so you can play chords and then the left hand. Well, let's do it. Let's just hear let's it. Let's just hear it. Oh, nice. Oh, and then we also have the Permanent cutoff. noise. Yeah. Yeah. So the cutoff is what's making it. And what did we just learn? Dot LPQ is you can hear the cutoff. Sorry, that was a lot. Yeah. I don't think it should be over like 50. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. <laughs> the techno and you're hearing like yeah it uses the sound bath yeah. wow great job Woo! and then we'll put it in here yeah. all right uh how do you say zayu 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 oh zayu yeah i'll let you <laughs> um cool anything you want to share with no it's just really really simple cool 
lots. Oh, you lots of jazz. Right. I see it. Siren. All right, we'll do like a we'll do like a slow reveal. Okay. The, you have uh, whoa. Oh, it only plays. Oh, I don't know. Do you have to take a huh? Oh. Wow. <laughs> It might not sound good immediately, but we can you can reverse engineer it. <laughs> um, cool. So different. I would have never. We wouldn't have gotten there if we didn't collaborate. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, uh, Allison, are you ready? No. <laughs> Should we come back to yours? Sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Come back. Oh, okay. You we'll come back it? to yours. <laughs> Joe. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you took the popular underground color theme that. Oh, oh so okay. Mostly tweak some parameters and double team things up. Dope. Is this what Friendship. it's supposed to look like? Yeah, I mean, okay, this cool. is like largely the structure that was there. I think it said tweak some parameters, double that last bit. Cool. Whoa, okay. Cool. All right. Um, let's, give it a, let's give it a whirl. Sure. We'll do the slow reveal. Oh, wait, that's cool. This is here. I tweak the hi hats. Oh, oh, okay. Do, 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 do. the layer thing to dot layer yeah i don't know i don't know what layer does there's a thing yeah math the power whoa that's crazy all right let's bring this guy in here i want to make these guys louder uh how do we make the softies louder dot gain two drums again. Here we go. Damn. <laughs> that is funky. Yeah, I want to hear the, hear the blah, 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 better. I, th I think maybe, okay. maybe we, we should, should take we this should one away. Fil filter that out or something. Which one? Do you want just, just this one. Oh, this one. I want to hear this one more. No, I, I, I want to low pass filter this one. Oh, okay. Dot so, opia. Yeah.
mix this with a phaser, maybe? Uh, just put add, oh. add phaser, uh, and then okay. like, like under where, oh, oh dot under phaser? the big thing? Yeah. Like I've that. never used uh, E-R. E-R. Oh, Wait. that? Uh, no, P-H-A-S-E-R. Oh, 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 okay. Phaser. And we'll do like 0.5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What's, what's a f- Oh, yeah, oh. okay. Wait, well, we'll hear better if we can put these guys in. Oh, okay. We can also add a slider for <laughs> for the filter. It might be hard because the speakers are also so spread out in this room. Oh, you can kind of hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do like four. Wait, that's cool. Wait, that's so cool. I didn't even know phaser was a thing. You can also oh, you can also okay. um, pattern these so you can do phaser. That's left. cool. And this is all in the browser, yeah. which is like really wild. So, wild. dope. Okay, okay. Thanks, Joe. All right, uh, Max, are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right, we're in speed round, but we'll, we, with love. We'll Each do it. Love. All right. Oh my god, use the viola. Oh. <laughs> um, anything you want to share, Max? Uh, I was just playing with masks to sort of like bring the different sounds that I got. So, yeah. Cool. All right, let's play it. I won't do a slow intro since you already have the masks. Oops, we need to do this. Well, I guess we're doing a slow intro. Oh. 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 That's big. Let's just move this guy down. Oh, that's loud. Okay, we'll do one. Oh, you can hear the gunshot now. are great. We'll put Max here. Um, all right. Uh, how do you say it? Xin Yi? Xin Yi. Oh, that's kind of close. Okay. That's pretty close. Yeah. Sh- right, yeah sh- anything you want to share before we play? Um, no. No? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Just masks. Masks on masks. Yo. Oh, hey. Whoa. Whoa. What's the thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the misc? Oh, it's the misc. Scale. Wow, so yeah, what's going on here? We have the different sort of changing scales by using this format. Earlier I was doing scale like this, where we have dot scale, like C, or I guess we can do G, minor. E minor. Yeah. And if you use the double brackets, it actually allows you to do your patterning within it. So that's something that I need to learn, not me too, but something I want to start to do more with. So rather than doing this, we translate it to this. And then you can do patterning, which is really dope. I didn't know you could do that. No, bring it back in. Damn. Wow. Great. Nice. That's really dope. Woo! <laughs> All right. And we'll, we'll great, great, great. We have share. six minutes and two more. All right. Only two more. Oh, no, we have a few more. Um, we're skipping around a little bit. Gleb, who's Gleb? Gleb. Gleb! Anything you want to say? No, it's just like some simple remixes. Some simple remixes. Some simple remixes. Let's hear it. By the famous Felix Rose. I, I love that this comma is right here. Ooh, Yo. piano row! Wow. So what off 
stuff is doing is we're adding uh, like another version of this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. All right, I could do this all day. Woo! That sounds dope. Wow. We skipped Allison before. Yes. Ah. Where are we? We. Oh, I, I went to the top of the Dance page. Slipped. I think. I slipped. <laughs> wow, what happened? I don't know what's, what's happening. What's happening? I was just trying to paste the remix. Okay, um, we have Felix. Alex, we had, oh, oh Allison. Allison. You ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> also, everyone, thank you for putting yours here. You're very brave. Woo! All right, does this look like what it should look like? Anything you want to share? All right, let's Howling play joy. it. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to add a... But it's okay. <laughs> Jade's old school remix. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. All right, so this is Jade. Jade has added some things to Strudel and did a show yesterday. And I was like, I'm doing a workshop for Strudel. <laughs> and Jade has never been to a workshop. But I'm glad you got to learn so much about Strudel in the workshop. <laughs> um, anything you want to share? Uh, no. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. You all ready? The, our, our closing, our, our headline. <laughs> headliner, headliner of Jay this Rose. workshop. All right, here we go. Do the, do the alien. Which one? Do the, do the I'll, I'll go boy, I'll go boy, I'll go boy. I love I'll go boy. And you can pick the, the, the alien song, the way coming piece. Yeah, and I think just like three numbers, comma, okay, zero, 
just gonna just say I can't do it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Q, let's do 10. Thank you all so much for coming to yeah. the workshop. Uh, we have a finishing slide. There it is. Yeah. yeah. And then you can follow Viola and I here if you'd like to. And you can follow Live Code NYC. Oh, yeah. We're on social uh, media at Live Code NYC. NYC. Um, and we also have a website called Live Code NYC where you can get all the information, join our Discord, oh, so on and so forth. NYC. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. So thank, thank you. Thank you all so much for coming. So much. Yeah. Yay. And also let us know if you have any feedback. We want oh, to yeah. do this workshop more in other scenarios. Thank <laughs> you.